In this video, I'm going to offer up 10 male monologues for mature actors aged between 30 and 50. These will be perfect if you're an older student of acting, perhaps doing a postgraduate course, or if you're looking for great material for an acting class. These characters are contemplating past events and encountering current crises with vulnerability and surging emotions. So here they are. Roger from Angry Alan by Penelope Skinner. Start on page 10 at, oh, right, I'm at the beginning and stop on page 13 at, and once I've said it, there's no going back. Roger is a husband and father who is seeking purpose and direction in his life. In this speech, he discovers a men's rights activist online called Angry Alan, and Roger has a powerful epiphany about his life and how to change it. The character is originally American, so an American accent will work well. However, the text is flexible and will work in any accent. Keith from The 306 Dusk by Oliver Emanuel. Start on page 51 at The Night Everything Goes Wrong starts brilliantly and stop on page 55 at She Doesn't Write Back. Keith is a retired soldier from Glasgow of any race aged between late 30s and early 40s. Keith has been with Sophie for 15 years and he speaks about a nice night out that's rekindled their closeness, but it abruptly ends in horror. It has a superb journey of emotions. It's shocking, sad, and full of regret. There's only one Scottish dialect word in this speech, which you could easily cut to make it work in any accent. Draycott from The Winterling by Jez Butterworth. In Jez Butterworth plays one, start on page 221 at Badgers, Bastards, Never Mess With a Badger, and stop on page 222 at, which is odd because it's the drier side of the moor. This play is set in an abandoned farmhouse in the centre of the forest of Dartmoor, and Draycott is a man in his 40s. This is a leery and comedic monologue about the time he unsuccessfully took on three badgers in a fight, and then caused a ruckus at a local cricket match after being refused a game. It's a really fun speech, and there are a few dialect-specific words, so a West Country accent will work well, but isn't essential. Jimmy from Bluebird by Simon Stevens. In Simon Stevens Plays One, start on page 64 at There's This Guy and One Night He's Driving Back Home From A Meeting and stop on page 65 at I Don't Even Know How To Sleep Anymore. Jimmy is a 32-year-old taxi driver and in this speech he's speaking to Claire, his former partner, outside their former home. Jimmy is retelling a story about himself in the third person. It's about a harrowing accident that he caused when drunk driving. It's an immense speech full of grief, regret and agonising pain. Cut out Claire's tiny six interjections to make the monologue work. Michael from Marine Parade by Simon Stevens. In Simon Stevens Plays 3, start on page 174 at I've been thinking about Emma all week and stop on page 175 at I only just realised. This play is set in and around a B&B &B hotel in Marine Parade, Brighton. Michael is staying here with Alison, who is his second wife. In this speech, he confesses his regret and sorrow about leaving his first wife, Emma. It's an honest and beautifully simplistic speech, which is full of complex feelings. Ariel from The Pillow Man by Martin McDonough. Start on page 77 at I'll tell you what there is about me and stop on page 78 at so I can connect you to this battery. Ariel is a volatile and disturbed detective who is interrogating a man called Katurian. Katurian is a suspected child murderer and in this speech Ariel lets rip about what he really thinks of him. This is a semi-rehearsed bad cop speech and it's brutal, blunt and imperious. Sebastian from Borders by Henry Naylor. Start on page 16 at I'm 21, fresh out of uni and stop on page 17 at his name, Osama Bin Laden. Sebastian is a photojournalist and here he's recalling his first big break where he meets John Messenger and is offered a job that will change his life forever. It's a casual and conversational speech with the opportunity for some lovely multi-rolling between Sebastian's voice and John Messenger's voice. Ray from Blackbird by David Harrower. Start on page 62 at Listen, There Was A Pub and stop on page 64 at I'd Never Have Left You There. Ray and Una had a relationship 15 years ago and in this speech, Ray is recounting the dramatic night that they ran away together. Una has told her version of events from that night and now Ray is telling his side. It's a brilliantly tense story. It's fast, frantic and filled with fear, panic and pain. Mr. Lockhart from The Seafarer by Connor McPherson. Start on page 77 at You're Going to Hell and stop on page 78 at Thought Possible with Your Puny Broken Mind. 
This play is set in a small coastal house north of Dublin, and Mr. Lockhart is visiting a man called Sharky on Christmas Eve. Lockhart and Sharky are old acquaintances, and Lockhart is here to collect a debt that Sharky owes. There's a key spoiler about the purpose of this speech, which I won't give away in case you haven't read the play. But Mr. Lockhart is an incredibly intriguing and villainous character, and this speech is very malevolent and ominous. Ralph from Frozen by Bryony Lavery. This speech is scene three. In Bryony Lavery's plays one, start on page 106 at You Know It's One Of Those Days and stop on page 109 at Sunny But With A Light Southerly Breeze. Ralph is a paedophile and a murderer, and this is his first speech in the play recalling the day he kidnapped a young girl. He speaks about the lead up to the event and replays the dialogue in the street with his victim. Rather than this speech being gratuitously dark and disturbing, he speaks with a simple calmness, which makes Ralph an interesting and thought-provoking challenge for the actor. So there we go, 10 monologues for mature male actors. This is how you can read the speeches and the plays they're from. These plays are currently available on Drama Online. Drama Online is a digital subscription service that has thousands of play texts that you can read and print off. You can order the play text from the publishers, Bloomsbury, Nick Hearn Books, and Faber and & Faber. Or you can order them from Amazon. And if you're in London, there are a few brilliant places where you can browse and buy plays. The National Theatre Bookshop on the South Bank, the Royal Court Bookshop at Sloan Square, Foyles on Charing Cross Road, Waterstones at Piccadilly, and the Calder Bookshop on The Cut near Waterloo. These places all have extensive selections of play texts. Thanks for watching to the end. If this video's helped you, please give it a like and subscribe to the channel too. And finally, check out these other videos that I've made that I think you'll like. Take care and all the best.